From using the palms of her hands and tips of her fingers, to her eye movements and facial expressions, how we interact with our devices has evolved dramatically over time. HTC has consistently been at the forefront of this evolution, redefining the ways we can connect with our devices and the physical world around us to make digital experiences increasingly seamless and intuitive. Today, we invite you to dive in with us as we journey through HTC's trailblazing history of innovations in human-machine interaction. From pioneering touch interfaces and reshaping the smartphone landscape to fostering the advent of virtual reality. And now, mixed reality. Get ready to rediscover how HTC touched the future. Innovating how we integrate and interact with technology is at the core of HTC's DNA and our journey through the tech industry began long before the era of mixed reality. Even before mainstream smartphones. In its early years, HTC was instrumental in shaping the PDA and smartphone landscape. These devices showcased features that were revolutionary at the time, such as stylus-driven interfaces, the precursors to modern touchscreens. The HTC ELF, known in some markets as the HTC Touch, was a groundbreaking device when it debuted in June 2007. At a time when physical keypads dominated the mobile landscape, the ELF was a revolutionary device built from the ground up to incorporate touch input. It was equipped with HTC's Touch Flow technology, which enhanced user experience by enabling gesture recognition. This innovation in design and user experience was first to market and a significant step for the industry to fully adopt touch interface design. It would directly influence all other products and interfaces that we take for granted today. HTC will go on to lead the smartphone industry again and again and also redefine what we expect from user interface designs with iconic devices such as the world's first Android smartphone, the HTC Dream, the world's first 4G smartphone, the HTC Evo 4G, and the world's first smartphone with a unibody aluminum frame, the HTC One. HTC, recognized for its pioneering work in the world of smartphones, also went on to make significant HMI innovations in virtual reality with the birth of the HTC Vive brand and its VR hardware. The Vive virtual reality system introduced the world to groundbreaking room scale tracking and motion sensing controllers, forever changing the way users experience and interact with the digital space. By translating physical movements into virtual actions, the Vive made VR more immersive and intuitive than it had ever been. And the Vive's built-in chaperone system, which would create a visible boundary in the VR environment when users approached real-world obstacles, also showcased the thoughtful integration of safety and play. These innovations shifted the paradigm from passive VR experiences to active, fully engaged ones setting a new standard for virtual reality interactions, and laying the foundation for subsequent advancements in human-machine interface design. In keeping with HTC Vive's pursuit of making VR an active experience, the Vive controllers also represented a paradigm shift in the way users could interact with virtual environments. They integrated motion sensing technology and tactile feedback to offer more immersive and intuitive VR. Each Vive controller is equipped with a multifunctional trackpad, trigger, and grip buttons, allowing users to seamlessly interact with a virtual world, no matter whether that means picking up objects, wielding weapons, or drawing in midair. The controllers empower users to move, act, and explore virtual spaces as if they were real, setting a high benchmark for interactions and immersion in VR. 
To make virtual reality even more accessible and versatile, HTC Vive would later introduce a novel approach to this technology with the Vive Flow, a set of immersive glasses that let users leverage their smartphone for use as a VR controller. This innovative integration made it possible for people to transform their everyday mobile device into a tool for immersive interaction within the virtual realm. By enabling a smartphone to function as a controller, HTC Vive reduced the barrier to entry for many potential VR users, proving that technology can and should evolve to be adaptive and forward-thinking and make digital experiences natural and intuitive. Breaking through the limits of input design, HTC Vive also introduced the Vive Pro I, an advanced iteration of its celebrated VR headset with high-precision eye tracking built in. Eye tracking allowed the device to detect and respond to the direction of its user's gaze, elevating the VR experience by providing more accurate and intuitive interactions within virtual environments. The Vive Pro I's precise eye tracking capability opened new avenues for developers, enabling more natural user interfaces and deeper insights into how people behave and engage within VR. The implementation of this new type of tracking directly as a user interface also allowed for graphics rendering optimization via a feature known as dynamic foveated rendering. This lets VR applications contextually allocate high-resolution graphics precisely where a user is looking and reduce image detail in the user's peripheral view. The result is not only an enhanced visual experience, but also improved hardware performance and efficiency. Alongside eye tracking, HTC Vive internally developed another interface mode, hand tracking. Leveraging advanced sensors and software algorithms, hand tracking would allow people to interact with virtual elements using natural hand movements, eliminating the need for external controllers. By translating real-world hand gestures into virtual actions, HTC Vive aimed to provide users with an even more immersive and intuitive VR experience, paving the way for more advanced augmented and mixed reality applications by blurring the lines between the digital and physical realms at an interactivity level. HTC Vive raised the bar for immersive experiences when it released its hand tracking technology to the world at the Game Developers Conference in 2019, empowering creators to directly integrate intuitive hand gestures into their VR applications and allowing users to engage with virtual environments without the need for traditional controllers. The introduction of hand tracking marked a significant step towards more natural and barrier-free VR interactions and allowed HTC Vive to once again define a new kind of user interface design. With the release of the Vive Focus 3, and most recently, the Vive XR Elite, hand tracking is now a built-in part of extended reality. People can intuitively reach out to, grasp, and manipulate virtual objects, whether for work or for play. The integration of such robust hand tracking into VR and MR devices further elevates the user experience and brings our physical and digital worlds closer than ever. It also offers a glimpse into the future of human-computer interaction that HTC Vive continues working to create.